Now that we've um, imported our grid here, we can go back and actually calibrate our grid. So if we go to Robot and Internet Explorer again, it'll open up this page and just click on IR Vision Setup. And it, it will automatically take you to the last thing you had open. So if you just hit end edit, then you can just go back here. So we're going to click on this again, and we're going to go under calibration. And we're going to use the world frame because we didn't make a user frame. And then grid spacing, it's going to be 7.5. Because if you go and you measure the circle distances, here, let me move these out of the way real quick. If you go back and you measure the, the distances between each circle here, so if we just go to click the measuring tool, and we select the first point to be the edge of the circle here, and then we select the other one, it's just a 7.5. So if we go back, okay, so we know this is 7.5, and number of planes is just one, and then the cal grid frame, we're just going to keep it not selected, and then this is going to be perspective, because it's normal, and we don't know what this is, or at least I don't know what this is, so I'm not going to click on the other one. And then, so, close that. So now, first plane, we're going to find it, we're going to hit OK. And so it calculated everything, so that's fine. We're going to leave it alone. And then, I guess it wants us to select it. We'll click user frame 1. And we'll just set this as our current uh, fixture point status. So that's that's all set. So everything is green, and we're good to go to the next one. And so it defined it here. That's good. And then the calibration result, you can just look at it and test. Or not test, but like look at it and double check to make sure that it works. And it does, clearly, because... These are all marked right in the center of each circle. So we can click save now and end edit.